Okay, guys. Three, okay, this three, is the one. This is the one I can feel it. Recording. This is the one. Fuck the others. This is the one. <laughs> okay. And action. But it's okay for him. He's tucked up in a sleeping bag. I'm only freezing to death in Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> but he still wants money for a cup of tea. And so I say to him, only if you have change of a 50, dear. <laughs> of course he did have change of a 50. All in ten pence pieces. Oh, no. <laughs> Excuse me, everyone. <laughs> Svetlana. Yes, Mrs. Ross? That Bellini you're holding isn't for my mother by any chance, is it? <laughs> Where's that silly Polish girl gone with my drink? I'll make sure it's her last. Good. Oh, and Svetlana. Yes, Mrs. Ross? Any sign of my son. Catherine, wonderful party. Not now, Art. I'm busy. Yes, now, Art. I want a word. Take your hands off me! Not until you tell me what you were doing speaking to my wife. Your wife is also my sister. And your investment is money that should be going towards your son's, my nephew's, long-term care. Now, let go of my arm! Is everything all right, sis? <laughs> Yes, Penny. I was just saying to your husband that nothing should come before family. Is that right now? Hmm? Mother? Bradley. Sorry to spoil your party, Mother, but my cab's coming in 20 minutes. You're sorry? I find out my son is having an affair with my late husband's mistress and you're sorry? Oh. The woman who caused the death of the only man I ever loved. The man who would have raised you had you given him the chance. How dare you say that? To me. How dare you raise your voice at me? Taylor McGregor doesn't care about you. <laughs> She's just using you to tear this family apart. There's my cap. Bradley, no. Mother, please. Bradley, no. Does she love you, Bradley? Of course. Has she ever said the words? Goodbye, Mother. Bradley, no. Sorry, Graham Graham. Promise me one thing, Bradley. Promise me that you'll make an on... Sorry. Promise me, Bradley. Promise me, Bradley, that you'll... Fuck it. I'm not saying it. What's the problem, Jane? Makes no fucking sense. Do you want a minute to look over it? I think we need the uh, script editor down. Promise me you'll make an honest woman of her. Where the fuck? does that come from? 15 seconds ago she was tearing the family apart. I thought some of my lines were quite good. I just kept saying Bradley no. No what for fuck's sake? What are they doing upstairs? Crack. Is that what you're doing boys? Is it? Is... You see Jamie any plot, any storyline is just a vehicle we put our characters into. Doesn't matter where they go or what they do, what matters is we find out who they are. Just kick the whole thing off with a bang and... What's wrong? Oh, um, what's going on there? Well, there's a studio webcam. It's not live, is it? No, I don't think so. So many continuity errors, it's untrue. Your father is the only man I've ever loved. <laughs> That is a laugh because she's had four affairs since I've been playing her. Is that right? Yes. Shh. And Bradley, 20 minutes for a cab. It comes in 30 seconds. And for Christ's sake, where is the cab going? Because Taylor lives in the flat below. Perhaps he's going somewhere first. Where? The gym. The gym. Yeah, that's where I go when I'm stressed. My darling, it isn't you. You're not in a wheelchair, unlike your character, who is. Besides, Bradley goes to the gym isn't in the script. You are so rude. Sorry, Ray, I didn't quite hear that. When someone says, how dare you raise your voice at me, it's usually because you've raised your voice. Look, that is 
in the script. Hi. Apparently there's a problem. There's a line here where Catherine tells her son to make an honest woman of Taylor. Yes. Which presumably means marriage. Yes. Which is the last thing she wants. Yes, but she knows she can't stop her son marrying Taylor. Right. And so, by putting the cat amongst the pigeons, she's getting the situation under control. Have you recently had a stroke? Are you saying that Catherine's unconscious fear is death? No. I'm saying she's not herself. Not herself. She's two different characters in the same scene. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I missed that. Had she had a stroke? OK. Can we change the line? No. Why no? Don't say because of the storylines. Because of the storylines. <laughs> If she stays put, we'll be fine. What are you doing? Uh, decluttering. Did you see the webcam? Yes. Then why are you still here? I'm not. I can't oh. find my keys. Can we try and calm her down? Too late, mate. She's gone. No, no, not her. Jane. How? Talk to her. Talk to her. <laughs> Enjoy your new rectum. That's Beth's laptop. I know. Jane, how lovely to see you. Did you write this shit? What's the matter? Having trouble with a line? Try the whole fucking thing. Who's this? Just an intern, Jane. Just an intern. Right. Page eight, line four. Catherine would never say that. Page eight, line four. Ah, now you see. These bloody script writers. Don't give me that. All those harlots do is join up the dots. Now, hang on a second, Jane. Everybody here has a valuable... Listen to me, little boy. I can play most, if not all, of the salty offerings you and your monkey friends jerk off into an envelope and pass off the storylines. But when something makes me look like a fool, then I just gag. This doesn't have to be Chekhov. But it'd be nice if there was a little truth. This swill makes the nine people who listen to this programme think they've got Alzheimer's. So things had Better improve! Usually she loses her temper. Everyone's really dramatic here, aren't they? That's why they call it great British drama. I suppose if this was British comedy, everyone would be funny. You'd think, wouldn't you? So are we changing Jane's line? Fuck no, we've got to crack on. What episode are we on? 1375. How far have we got? Oh! Had an idea earlier. What is? What? A mystery. I don't know yet. Oh, that's comforting. Look! 
This isn't like I'm blocking drains or photocopying. It doesn't happen by itself. You've got to do something to kick it off. Rule one of storylining. Make shit happen. Take a bunch of characters and give them a problem. Big one, preferably. Okay. Then what? Get them to solve it. Psst. 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 What? It's me. I know. Any sign of Jane? No. Good. I'm not in. I know. To anyone? I know. Why don't you use the intercom? I don't know how to use it. Just press the button that says intercom. It must be broken. Then ring my extension. I don't know what it is. It's all the ones. One, one. <sighs> how am I supposed to remember that? It's taped to your phone. I don't have my glasses. You don't wear glasses. Look, just make sure Gannett doesn't get in here, OK? Don't worry, she won't. Peter in. No. Then who's that in her office? <gasps> You weren't there, Taylor. You didn't see the way she laid into Bradley. That'll be him now. You'd better leave. Use the back stairs. I have to say, Taylor, I was surprised. You and Bradley? I thought you liked sophisticated, intelligent men. What makes you think he's not? Sorry I didn't call, but I needed to see you urgently right away. Was that too loud? She's fought with my brain, man. She's fought with my IQ. Calm down. No, man. You weren't there. I felt totally emasculated. Emaciated? What's the word? Uh, uh, emaciated. No. Uh, emasculated. Yeah. What's it mean? To deprive a man of his masculinity. Oh, fuck. I don't know about that because I felt like a right fucking penis. Jess was right, I should have cuffed her. Who's Jess? Jess 3000, DJ, follows me on Twitter. Whoa, you haven't tweeted what happened this morning, No. Because you? you know you can't let people know what goes on here. I know that, but she was banged to rights, man. Banged to freaking rights. Bang out of order. I'm getting a migraine now. Let's go back and finish the scene. What should I say to Jane? About what? Uh, her apology. She will eventually. So why say anything? Are you saying don't say anything? Yes. Not a word. Keep stum. <laughs> stum? <laughs> stum? <laughs> Welsh? Yes. It means don't say anything. Shame her into apologising. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shame on you, Jane. <laughs> You're so clever, mm. Terry. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Right. We've got a scene to finish. Oh. Oh. Hello? Hi, darling. Oh, I'm just rehearsing with Mary. <laughs> Dugan says hello. Nah, of course I can talk. How are the babies? Okay, before you say a word. Wait. She's in the corner. Why are you hiding? I'm not. My drawer won't open. Is it locked? Of course it's locked. Where are the keys? Inside the drawer. Okay, let me try. Forget about the drawer. You're in a lot of trouble. This isn't about the storyline. Oh, isn't it? Isn't it? No! Then why is Jane threatening to go over my head if they don't improve? It's a bluff. She wants something. More lines, more holiday, more punch in the fucking throat. What she wants, Axel, is for the storylines to improve. And frankly, I agree with her. Since when? Since she came into my office and locked the fucking door. I swear to God I've never been so scared I think I took a shit in that drawer. Well... What happened? Well, I, I tried to defuse the whole thing by telling her how good she was in wiring the blood. She wasn't in wiring the blood. Oh, fuck. What was it? 
Trial and retribution. Place of execution. Trial and retribution. Place of execution. Ah, oh, fuck, what's the difference? Anyway, she came in about you and the storylines. Me? What did she say about me? Who cares? What are you going to do about the storylines? Look, we've done this story a hundred times. Catherine forms an alliance with Taylor and then we break them up again. Same goes for her love affairs. That's how Catherine works. Jane knows this! I don't know about you. That sounds fantastic. I'm telling you, the woman's nuts. You should have seen her, drooling all over my desk, ranting on about Chekhov. What the fuck has Star Trek got to do with it? I don't think it's got anything to do with it, but the main thing is we keep the whole thing quiet. How many contributions? It's online. We don't want the sixth floor finding out. It's on YouTube. If anyone asks, it didn't happen. 20,000 beats. It was a complete non-event. Uh... What do you think it is? Hi Peter, it's me. Just a message to let you know that it's on the fucking internet! Bollocks. As Peter refuses to take any meetings, I thought we should get together and discuss this morning. Sorry, sorry everyone. No, please, come in, Daddy. Uh, is it all right if I eat my lunch? Of course it is. Now, I know we all support Jane. Uh, nevertheless... Would anyone like some sushi? It's homemade. Oh. Nevertheless, I think we ought to air any concerns we might have. Ray, why don't you start? Keep stum. Stum. Ray, Ray, Ray. Stum. Sushi, sushi. Ray, Ray. Sushi, sushi, sushi. Ray, Ray. Keep stum. Stum. Did anyone like some sushi? Ray. Keep stum. I know that. For fuck's sake. Mama. Keep stum. Ray. Oh, for God's Ray. sake, somebody. Give him his line. No, Daddy, we're not rehearsing. Are we not? Well, what the fuck are we doing, darling? Uh, Falco? Hmm? This is a cast meeting. Oh, right, sorry, I thought you were rehearsing. So did I. Oh, oh, someone, get me out of this chair. No, we're discussing something very serious. Post this. Following a brain scan, Jane's been diagnosed I'm with... not posting that. Why not? You can have a small one. So what did she say about me? Nothing. How about we say we were larking about? Who are you, Oscar Pistorius? Did she say nothing or did she not say anything? Neither. So she said something. How about following a battle with industrial solvent? Jane's had a headache for 15 months. <clears throat> so, the something is nothing, but you're saying it isn't anything? No, it's nothing. Something. Look! Stop making this about you. This is my problem. Me. Mine. Peter's. I know. Say we were larking about. You don't like it? You want to sleep with me right now, don't you? OK, how about this? In case any of you took this morning's prank in Studio 14 as anything but, such is the quality of acting on this show and Jane's wicked sense of humour, we want to reassure all that it was just a joke. Sorry for the confusion. How's that? Oh, you little hottie. Now she'll have to say the line, up here for thinking, down there for dancing, send it, send it. And you, stay away from Gunnett. What did she say about me? No! So, Cranel, which means going to the bank would probably be the best. Okay, okay, I think I've got it. Catherine needs money for her new development. That's her problem. Yes. And the way she solves the problem is to go to the bank. What do you think? I think Jane said something about me and Peter won't tell me what it is. Well, I'm thinking Catherine could get a loan due to her credit. Okay, good. But how am I going to find out what Jane said about me? Why don't you ask her? 
Why don't I ask her, fucking goon? Look, can we please talk about my story? What's the point? It isn't a story! Catherine needs money, goes to bank, gets money. Yawn! Rule two. You can't have an easy solution to these things. What you've got to find is something convoluted and involved and liable to cause more... You could ask Jane for me. Why me? Because she likes you. No, she doesn't. Well, then you ought to make more of an effort, then. What about the episode? It's fine. Look, it's practically writing itself. Couldn't do any of that on the radio. Don't make it obvious that you're asking about me. Uh, just get into a conversation naturally and get round to it hypothetically. Not literally, but... Uh... Hi, Jane. Uh, Beth, kiss me. I just fixed that, you clown! And if he sends you to me again, I shall stick his head up your ass. How'd it go? Oh, oh Jane, can I just say about this morning, I... I'm sorry. <gasps> Whatever it is, it can wait. It's about this morning. Morgan wanted to come and talk to you first, right away, without hesitation. Mary, darling, she knows the people we are. Now, the first thing that will go unsaid is that we fully support Jane. But if she's to be written out, then I would be prepared, for the sake of the show, to take on our storylines. Oh, darling, that's an awful lot to ask. It's for the sake of the show. Jane isn't getting written out. Who's writing her out? Who's writing her out? Who's writing her out? Who's writing her out? Jane, wait. Okay. What did she say about me? Well, you're not gonna like it. Listen, mate. There's nothing she can call me I haven't been called before. You bedwetting head gobbler! What? Jane Gannett and a member of the story team were just seen in the corridor exchanging angry words following reports that Gannett 41 is to be written out. That's horseshit. If you say there's no way she's 41, I'll have you slapped across the ball bag. There's no way she's 41. <laughs> Listen, would you? And now I've got to deal with it all over again! Oh, God, how I hate you. Oh, God, how I hate you all! You should have told me what she said about me! Uh, you really want to know what she said about you? You really want to know? Wait! She said you used to be one hell of a writer. in the middle of her Bikram yoga. Great. Has she had lunch yet? No. I told her to come right away. Yes, I know. I was standing here when you said so. Bring her over the minute she arrives. <laughs> this time I'll be waiting.
<laughs> Have you seen? <laughs> The writing Jane out, man. The writing her out. <laughs> Are they? <laughs> Tell me, where is Jess 3000 getting all this from? I want to say lawnmower. Whistleblower. No, I don't. That's a gay thing. <laughs> it's you, isn't it, mate? <laughs> what? No. But isn't it great she's getting her tuppence worth? I don't care. And it's comeuppance. What I do care about is what you tweet. What do you mean? You know what and you know why. You can't stop the freedom of speech. It's in the US constellation. It's constitution. And it doesn't apply. We live in the United Kingdom. I know that. But Barack Obama is still our president. This way, please, Jane. I appear to be having a rather late lunch. Corn beef. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. How about a bit of a snake bite? It's what the students used to drink at Rada, was it not? Cheers. I'm fine, thanks. I did a summer school there once, you know. My father disapproved of the acting profession, said I was more suited to the Navy. So I went from theatre to dance. I have to tell you, Peter, I shan't be saying the line. It makes no sense. Come, come, Jane. We both know there are actors up and down the country who speak drivel every day. I watched an episode of Peaky Blinders the other night. I thought the whole cast were on crystal meth. I'm not responsible for the actions of other actors. Frankly, I'm appalled. Let's not get excited. Cigar? No, thank you. What's it going to take, Jane? I have 250 episodes to deliver every year, and frankly, I'd rather kill myself than get behind schedule. What would you do if you were me? I'd kill myself. Cheers. God, I hate actors. You don't have lines you moan, you do have lines you moan. You're stubborn, but you have no pride. It's pointless going on like this. You endure, but you have no courage! I'll tell you what it'll take. Axel's head. Get rid of him and I'll say the line. You have until three o'clock to decide. Oh, this place is a nut house. I used to think the print shop was boring, but this is a nut house. Then go back to the print shop then. Maybe that's all you're good for. Maybe. But maybe Jane was right. Maybe you used to be one hell of a writer. Maybe that's why you keep recycling all your old stories. And what? You don't think we don't read what you send down? Everyone's been saying it. It's all the same stuff as before. No, it's not. How is it? You and your rules. It's all bollocks. Hang on, what are you talking about? We have a blank whiteboard. If I was doing the same stuff, it would never be blank, would it? It would be full, not blank. It would never be blank. There'd be no fucking whiteboard. Here's episode 1350. Apparently you wrote that four weeks ago. So? Look at this one. Same story. Nearly all the same characters. Not just the same. Identical. 
That one you wrote four years ago. I can't have. I wasn't here four years ago. Sam, can you get Axel? Tell him I need to see him. Shh! Jane Gannett has announced she will be leaving the popular radio drama, The Heights. In a statement from her agent, Ms. Gannett is said to have been considering offers since her recent acclaimed appearance in Wire in the Blood. Producers for the show have yet to comment. Don't believe it. I know. It was Wire in the Blood. We're going to get a call from the sixth floor now. Not if we unplug all the phones. 960-268. This is very weird. This is seriously fucking weird. I'm duplicating stories I've never seen before. How is that possible? And why hasn't anyone noticed? I mean, the audience, out there. The people who follow soaps day in, day out, haven't they noticed? Haven't they worked out we're doing the same shit over and over again? It's a mystery, all right. So, you're going back to the print room or you're going to stick around? No, I'll stick around. And I'm sorry about what I said earlier about you in this place. It's not in that house. Yes, it is. And cat. <laughs> 